Okay. Uh, all right, we put that there. Hi, everybody. Welcome to a quick final. Oh, let me take this off. Unboxing. Okay. So as everybody knows, I did the unboxing of the Xbox, but I didn't really want to do the Xbox uh, unboxing of the PlayStation 5 because I was enlisting the help of my brother to help me get another one um, for a friend. So. Um, no, I didn't buy them from scalpers. No, I'm not the type to do that. A little bit of patience and perseverance will get you your hardware. So, now that I have both, I don't have to worry about giving mine to somebody that's been helping me out throughout the year, taking care of my dog. So, shout out to them. Uh, Jazz is awesome for that. Lewis for getting this one for me so i didn't have to worry about getting this one up yeah so uh, these things are still hard to come by they're doing drops in-store drops all uh, the bots are getting them bots are basically computer programs that go online and buy everything before anybody else can buy it for those that don't know getting these are very hard to do any of the new generation consoles are very hard to get so i appreciate my brother Skin this for me. I have mine, I have both now. I'll get ready to do an unboxing for this one shortly. I'm very happy about this. If you haven't got one, stay on the lookout. Look for PS5 drops on Twitter, anything online that helps you get one, but please do not pay the scalper prices. It is not worth it. By February, you can do a lot more with that extra thousand dollars that they're trying to charge you. So with no further ado, I'm going to change clothes and get into gaming mode and show you what the new PS5 looks like, um, some of the features, and in comparison to the old PS4. And then I'll be able to start Cold War, finally play the Spider-Man game. Cyberpunk came out. I'm going to show you guys some footage of Cyberpunk right now from uh, the Xbox and the intermission while I'm getting ready for this. So watch this Cyberpunk 2077 clip from Xbox gameplay. Yeah, this is on the Xbox X Series X. So, looks pretty good. Come on, spit it out. I'm waiting to me. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that little clip from uh, Cyberpunk 2077, 2077. I took the other PlayStation to my friend. They loved it. They were happy about it. I was going to have a great Christmas. At the same time, I guess Marika had made some chicken via TikTok or something like that. So uh, she gave me some, uh, put my own rice in it, added some sugar. Got my pineapple vinegar drink from the Korean store. That's just a nice bottle of vinegar. I probably showed you guys before or something like that. And uh, I'm gonna try this. I attempted to make some uh, plant-based meatballs, but that meat is very tricky. You can overcook it and it won't taste right. I didn't really record that because it didn't come out right. So I chopped it up and made a meatless meat sauce with pasta yesterday. I gave some for Marika to try. I don't know if she made a video, but I'm gonna try her chicken. Don't know how it was made, but I don't know if that's lemon, but it tastes good. It tastes really good. It has different flavors with it. Chicken's thoroughly cooked. It's not dry, so it's good, but I can't pick out the flavor that she chose. Hmm. I really shouldn't be eating it so close to this, but I'm gonna finish this food, and when I come back, I'll do the unboxing of this, and of course, I'll wash my hands first, so. Till then, itadakimasu. Finally, 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 I am going to unbox the PlayStation 5 new gen console. I got it on the launch day, I didn't open it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it. I wanted to make sure other people got it as well. If I wasn't able to secure another one, I was gonna actually give up mine and wait to get another one later, just because it was that important. So luckily again, shout out to my brother for getting one and mailing it to me at a non scalper price. Now, let's get into it. Okay, so we have the new PlayStation 5 new gen console, which it says, play like never before, breathtaking immersion with 3D audio technology. Um, it has 825 gigabytes, not a full terabyte, like the Xbox 
Series X, that means it has less actual starting memory because of all the operating system that is on it. We're gonna open this one. This is the one I got from GameStop. And with this one, I had to buy it in a bundle. It came with the two games. I might end up switching one out, but the Spider-Man Miles Morales launch day edition, which has the remastered original Spider-Man. So it's like two games in one. Of course, I have the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I'm not any good at that, so maybe while I have that, I might go trade it in for actual game that I would play. Like maybe Steam Cyberpunk. I also had to get the 12 month. We only had the option for three, six, or 12. I chose to get the 12 month a PlayStation Plus subscription. They started something new because they have the PlayStation Now, which is similar to Xbox Game Pass, which you get internet and game access, and also an extra control. I still chose this system because of the new uh, DualSense control that they have going on feature. First off, the box is bigger than the Xbox, so you can't see me. Okay, it's a box in a box. Box in a box in a box. PlayStation logo here. I don't want to open it wrong. It's probably a stand-up one due to the fact of where it's at. Oh, give me directions. Okay. Open it. It's supposed to pull out the whole top box. Okay. It says pull out the top box first. Which has the user manual, safety guide, power cord, a control that comes with with it, oh wow, it's a lot different than um, the other PlayStation control. There's a little different feel to it. It's kind of got like a grainy texture in the back. But a little different setup. Uh, uh, one feature a lot of people don't talk about about the uh, new Sony PlayStation 5 remote control is it actually has a microphone built in. So when I guess you're playing Call of Duty, you don't necessarily have to have a headset. Uh, me personally, I don't like headsets. I mean, I play the games in my own room in my own house, so I don't really need to have um, emergent headphones. Okay, had a little technical difficulty with the uh, camera. Too too much memory didn't wipe it out. So it says to take out the box on top and then tilt it sideways like this. Okay. So in the first cardboard thing, we have the quick start guide, the safety guide, which as we all know, nobody ever reads. Power cord, HDMI cord. Oh, this must be the stand. Oh, there's a screw at the bottom. You turn it, and you screw it into the bottom of it. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But this is the base for the console. And the control. Another cord. Oh, this is the charging cord. For, it uses USB-C to charge with the USB-A, not a micro USB like the last one. So, uh, controller feels a little bit heavier. It is a different setup than the other one. I'll show you the other control. I like that the buttons are all like clear, just clear. It looks pretty clean. One feature most don't know about the, or they may know but they don't talk about, is the remote has a built-in microphone, uh, which might explain why the new PlayStation 5 controllers are seventy dollars each. Plus, it has a dual sense technology in it that will probably come into play with a lot of the games to come in the future with the next-gen console. Astro World, that's included with the console, might help us with that with the haptic. Uh, adaptive controls. We'll talk more about that as I play more games with it, but I do like the new uh, controller as opposed to the other one. Already, I'm, you know, considering what we paid and after opening the Xbox, I don't feel as excited opening the PlayStation up. It just doesn't look as nice. Does it, it's not as visually nice as the Xbox. It just looks like I'm taking some current game stuff out of the cardboard, hold on. Big bulky box over packaging. It looks like the typical egg carton protector. It's, I don't know. The Xbox I cared with what I did with the other 
This doesn't look like it took as much care as wrapping. It just looks like it was spun and wrapped. It's not taped, but let's see what happens when we get to the console itself. In this light, it looks more gray than white, but oh, it's definitely heavier and bigger than the uh, Xbox. It really does look like a, it could be the Yoshimura Tower from Die Hard. For those that might know what that looks like, or it looks like some building. Did I have it upside down? I don't even know which way it goes. Oh, probably PlayStation side up makes a lot of sense. Not a fan of the gloss. I like matte black, but it looks okay. We have a charging port in the front, a USB S charging jet power in the back. Let's see what we have back here. An HDMI out ethernet and two more usbs in the back so this also doesn't have the capability of running your main cable box into it and running out so there's no hdmi in port on this one either the gloss back is already showing dust on it i'm not a fan of that i'm not a fan of fingerprints so that's a a, a big negative for me already i'm not a fan of the size of this uh, if you don't have the right entertainment center setup, this might look very odd. I mean, look at it compared to my head. Very, very huge. Old console? Well, not old. Still good console. PlayStation 4. Even if you were able to sit it on the side, it's a good four inches taller. Clearly, three inches taller even on its side. You know, if you had the right decoration, the right right setup, it might be aesthetic pleasing, but I don't have anything white, so this just stands out completely compared to the Xbox as well. Side by side, out of the box, a huge gap. Could be almost five inches, I don't know. I like the matte black of the Xbox. Just not a fan of the gloss fingerprint prone, dust showing glossy black compared to the matte black of the Xbox Series X. I'm switching over, not leaving Xbox, but I'm going over to PlayStation as a gamer because I'm interested in this controller and the haptic that it's going to be having. You can see the size difference. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. The controllers. Button layout is a little bit the same. It's just a little bit longer of a control. Not that much difference. I just have to see, but I like just the aesthetics of the control, I do like. I do like the way the control looks. It doesn't really have much gloss on it, just a flat black against white. I like that. Whenever you touch the console, you're gonna have to make sure your hands aren't greasy or had anything. You can't eat a bag of chips and then go touch your console, although you probably never should do that anyway. Controllers are $70. They haven't been put on sale yet. More expense, expenses to go with it. Yeah, I don't know. The box, the unboxing doesn't hit me as much as the Xbox did because the Xbox just looked like it was a precious gift that was taken care of wrapped snugly. And when you open it, it's like, wow, you know what I mean? Uh, this is just looks like I'm unboxing another console, even though it's the next gen. There, it doesn't give me that special feeling. The next one that I'll do is, I guess, gameplay. Seeing um, since this is the flagship exclusive game to PlayStation 5, I'm going to play this one first and see how it is. Um, Spider-Man Remastered, then I'll play Spider-Man Miles Morales and to see what I feel for that. A lot of people say it showcases the next gen very well capabilities in it. Okay, thanks for uh, paying attention. Stay tuned for more games to come. You may want to get ready to look at my channel as I transfer over to that. Coopers in Cuties Instagram. And when I'm ready for my YouTube channel, it'll pop up there. Subscribe, comment, like. I hit the notification button for Marika's, for Busan, and myself. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next clip of whatever I decide. Just a quick, quick note. I opened up the second control. I don't know if the other controls when you buy the PlayStation, they probably didn't have it either, but for $70 to get another control and no charging cord, I'm disappointed in that.
Okay, um, I wanted to throw this in there at the end of it. Uh, again, thanks for watching, thanks for paying attention to all this, but this is my first foyer into reviewing anything. So forgive me if I don't seem to have it perfected, but in due time, I'll take your suggestions and do more. Uh, I'd rather review cars and some games, but uh, again, I thank you personally and keep watching.